What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back with another Minecraft mod tutorial, and today the mod will be the Balkans Weapon Mod, and basically what this mod does is it adds a whole bunch of new weapons to Minecraft, such as a cannon, a musket, a bunch of different types of spears, a blowgun, um, there's a crossbow, dynamite, just a whole bunch of different weapons. So the weapons it adds to be exact is a crossbow, a blunderbuss, a diamond or a spear, a warhammer, a cannon, a fire rod, a musket, a dynamite, blowgun, a diamond or a back saddle, a battle axe, a knife, and a halberd, halberd, I don't know how to say that, then a flail. And then here's all the ammo which would be a poisonous dart would be used by the blowgun. Uh, musket round, blunder blunderbuss shot, cannonball, uh, gunpowder is used for the cannon, and then an arrow and the crossbow bolt. So to use the weapons, you're gonna have to right click, hold down right click until it loads. Uh, so it loads the weapon you're using, and then you hit a little click, and then you'll be ready to fire. Then right click again, and it shoots. So that was the crossbow now for the blunderbuss now these do have a very large recoil so that's the warhammer if we just hold it down or the see if I can get it to do it again Okay, so it's only when we're aiming at something. So let's let's take this cow out. Okay, so I guess it's not gonna work when I want it to. Um, I'll show you the cannon last. Here is a fire rod, and I'm sure you can guess what this is gonna do. If I can get it to shoot. Maybe I'm not going to be able to. Um, hmm. So I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to get that to shoot. But here's a musket. I'm sure we can aim and shoot it from here. Hmm. It's the musket round, but why will it not shoot? Okay, so I don't know what's wrong with that, but uh, here is some dynamite through two on accident. They have a fairly large blast radius and then the poison to start. So there are no animals around for me to show you the effects of this one. And then the rest of course are just things that you swing around. So let me go ahead and show you the cannon. So if we place the cannon down and then we go ahead and put a cannonball in our hand and we have our gunpowder in our inventory we sit in the cannon or you right click the cannon and it will load it then you sit in it and then you hit space when you're ready to fire so that's pretty much that. Um, it adds quite a few weapons, as you can see. Uh, some of them, I don't know why they weren't working for me, but uh, I'm sure I'm probably doing something wrong. There's probably another step that I needed to do. So that was all the weapons. Now I need to clean up my Minecraft jar, and after I do that, I'll be back and I'll show you how to install this mod. Okay, so what you're going to need to install this mod is any kind of archiving program, um, whatever you really want to use, such things as like WinRAR or 7-Zip, just programs like that. I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then you're going to need to download Mod Loader and the Weapon Mod itself. So to get Mod Loader and the Weapon Mod, I'll go ahead and give you the link to these two pages in the description. So to download the Weapon Mod, if you scroll down, you'll see an index. And then the first thing is Downloads. So go ahead and click on Downloads, and it'll bring you all the way down here. And then you want to download the single player version. So go ahead and click on the Download Weapon Mod V8.1. And this will bring you over to an AdFly. And you just wait five seconds, and then it'll say skip ad up in the top right hand corner. Just go ahead and click on that, and it'll automatically download it. 
Now for Mod Loader, go ahead and come to Resigami's Mods and scroll down past all of this until you see Mod Loader 1.0.0 and you can either do Download Ad Fly or Direct, whatever you prefer to do. I usually tend to do Direct because then I don't have to mess with Ad Fly. So that's how you download everything you're going to need. Now to install this, you're going to go ahead and come over to Start and then type in percent app data percent and hit enter then go into your dot minecraft now the first step I'm gonna have you do just so we're uh, prepared for it later is if you have a folder in your dot minecraft um, already called mods then you can go ahead and skip this step but if you don't see a folder in here called mods then what you're gonna need to do is right click inside of the folder and do new folder and name it mods M-O-D-S, no capitalization or anything like that. So it's just like this. Okay, so once you have a folder called mods in your .minecraft folder, go ahead and open up your bin, then left click your Minecraft jar, then right click it and do open with WinRAR or 7-zip, whatever you're using. Now your bin, we're going to go ahead and minimize that because we will be coming back to it later on in the tutorial. So now go ahead and open up your mod loader highlight all these class files and drag them in and hit OK go ahead and close mod loader now delete made an imp from your minecraft jar always want to delete that so right left click it then right click it and do delete files and hit yes so now your made an imp is deleted now go ahead and open up your weapons mod and we go ahead and close your minecraft jar since we are done with that and you should have minimized your bin so bring that back up and just hit back so we're back in the dot minecraft folder now open up files for mods folder and then come over here and open up the folder that you created called mods and highlight these two class these two files and drag them on in and that's it very very simple installation for this mod so i hope this video helped you guys out thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time